Good morning. My name is Zora Bender, a member of Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church, and I'm on to do a lesson starting the new year off right in 2024. My pastor asked me to do a lesson on words slash the word. Words slash the word. So let's bow our heads for a few moments of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come this morning, Lord, thanking you, Lord, for all you have done us through the year of 2023. Yes, sir. We pray that the year 2024 will be better, and we will praise you even more, Lord. Praise we God. want to thank you for everything you're doing and what you're going to do for us in the future. Lord. Do it, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm praying that this lesson will be an inspiration to someone, Lord. To make them want to hear more. In your son Jesus name. Amen. amen. Okay. Word slash the word. First thing I'm going to define. What the word word mean. Because most times simple words. We think we know what they mean. So the word. W-O-R-D mean. A single element of speech. Or writing. Use with other words to make a sentence. A single element of speech or writing used with other words to make sentences. So I'm going to call off some words that tells you what words have the power to do. Yeah. The first thing, words have the power to make you happy. Sad, Sad. Angry. Angry. You can be harsh with your words. Harsh. You can be insulting. You can be inspiring with your words. You can be deceptive. You can be persuasive. You can be humiliating. And you can cause people to be embarrassed with your words. And there are many, many more words that I could call off, but this is just a few to let you know the power that words have. The power to use words wisely is a gift from God because we know wisdom comes from God. So we're going to look at Proverbs seventeen twenty seven. That's our scripture that we'll be dealing with. Proverbs 17, 27 says, He who has knowledge spares his words, and a man of understanding is of a calm spirit. I hope you heard what I said. He who has knowledge spares his words. I don't care what school or what college you go to to get your knowledge. It's telling us you don't have to do a whole lot of talking to be wise, and a man of understanding is of a calm spirit. Watch your tone. Watch how you say those words. Sometimes they're inspiring, but the tone you use does not go together. And then we're going to look at Psalms 141, verse 3. It says, let me make sure we get this one. Y'all go to Psalms. Psalms 141, Psalms 141, and we're going to look at verse 3. Verse 3 says, Set a guard, O Lord, mm. over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. And if you can use restraints, it is an indication of wisdom and humility. You can't gain knowledge if we are constantly talking. So we must listen sometimes. Now we've talked about word, W-R-D. Now let's talk about the word. The word. And John 1, 1 will tell you what the word is. John 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, 
and the word was God. So now we're talking about God when we say the word. And there's a lot of things the word will do. The word will cause you to be wise and humble. Yes, it will. That's what the word will do to you. It will also build up instead of tearing down yeah. people's character or their images. The word offers us many promises. So I'm going to name a few of those promises. And you may need to write them down. These are the promises from the word. Exodus 20, 12, we already know. Honor thy father and mother. What's the promise? That your days will be longer on this earth which thy God giveth thee. Then if we look at John 16, 7, the Lord promised to send back a comforter when he left the earth. If we look at Acts 1 and 8, he says, We will receive power after which the Holy Ghost have come upon you. And then the last one I'm going to mention, there's plenty of promises in the Bible. So I'm only mentioning four. Romans 10 9 says, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe Amen. within your heart that God has raised him, Amen. Jesus, from the grave, thou shalt be saved. That salvation that he promises you. And lastly, I'm going to make sure you get this one down. Matthew 12, 36 through 37. Matthew 12, 36 through 37. We will be held accountable if we don't use our words wisely. So be careful, be careful. Little tongue, what you say. Why did you say that? Our children say because the Father up above is looking down mm -hmm. on us. So use your words carefully and use wisdom. Thank you.